एक्स्ट्रा टाइम जब आप आज बोलिंग करने गए थे और हमने मैच में भी देखा कि आपने छह विकेट लिए कमिंस ने भी बहुत अच्छी गेंदबाजी की तो क्या प्लान था आपका और पिच कैसे बिहेव कर रही है जब हम लोग बोलिंग कर रहे थे तो पिच काफ़ी स्लो थी थोड़ा अप एंड डाउन रह रहा है विकेट बट मोस्टली अप से ज़्यादा डाउन रह रहा है तो बॉल रिवर्स होने लगा था तो हम लोग उसको कोशिश कर रहे थे कि जब रिवर्स हो रहा है तो हम रणजी ट्रॉफी क्रिकेट में रिवर्स स्विंग की काफ़ी बोलिंग की तो उस एक्सपीरियंस को यहाँ यूज़ करने की कोशिश कर रहे थे आपका जो एक्शन है उसके बारे में बहुत बोला जाता है तो क्या ये नेचुरल है कौन थे आपके कोच उसने बदलाव करने की कोशिश की या नहीं की की नहीं तो क्यों नहीं की नहीं ऐसे एक्शन के बारे में जो बोलना है बोले वो तो मैं सीरियसली लेता नहीं हूँ बट मेरे एक्शन मैं टीवी में जब छोटा था तो मैं बहुत सारे क्रिकेटर्स को बोलिंग करते देखता था तो उसके वजह से पता नहीं कैसे ये एक्शन डेवलप हो गई बट आ, मेरे जब भी मैं एन में गया हूँ कहीं भी गया हूँ तो मेरा एक्शन चेंज करने की कोशिश किसी ने नहीं की थी मुझे सिर्फ बोला कि बॉडी स्ट्रॉन्ग करो क्योंकि उनको था कि जो आ, कुछ मेरे पास जो पेस है वो शायद चली जा सकती है तो इसके लिए मैं उस मामले में लग ही रहा हूँ थोड़ा ओरिजिन कोच कौन थे ऐसे कोई कोच नहीं था मैं स्कूल क्रिकेट थोड़ा खेला था मैं ज़्यादातर जो क्रिकेट मैंने मेरे को शौक था मैं टीवी देख देख के काफ़ी सीखा हूँ तो ऐसे कह नहीं सकते कि एक पर, एक कोई एक कोच है जिसने मुझे बहुत ऐसा हेल्प किया जसप्रीत कंग्रेचुलेशन वन द डेक्लेशन खाइम टाई at you know uh, sorry when the declaration came today when when the decision was made to bat again what was the plan in the dressing room i mean was there ever a thought of sending someone like rishab or rohit up the order to up the ante or was the plan to no, just there bat was, there was no such plans but we wanted to play positive cricket yes we lost a few more wickets than we wanted to but yes we'll uh, we try to uh, add as many as more runs we want to and then hopefully when we come back in the next innings and we'll try to get them out as well and what what's the magic number what matching number what what are you hoping to set no anything uh, see we'll try to add as many as we can and then hopefully we'll back as our bowling unit to you know defend throat just uh, how difficult is the phase where you come from the injury uh, before the england tour and you took the five wickets at you know, nottingham and i get the career best performance here so no in england in england i had the thumb injury so i was still bowling because uh, it was my left thumb so i was still bowling in the nets and in that i was sitting out so in the first two games i was keeping an eye what is happening over here it's a little different because over here the ball does a little less there's more there's less lateral movement over here so over here you want to be consistent so all these things always keeping an eye and you're talking to co- uh, all the coaches all the experienced players i always do that and try to learn from them for lunch the setup the plan the execution everything yeah when i was bowling there uh, the wicket was had become really slow the ball had become soft nothing really was happening so just last ball before lunch so rohit was there at mid off so he told me that you can try a slow ball like you bowl in one day cricket so i thought yeah I, I, you could give it a go that nothing is really happening maybe a slow ball they some of some of their guys play with hard hands so we wanted to try that Uh, the execution was good on the day so yeah really happy so the yoker or a catch at short cover i'm trying to bowl a slow ball and then f- a fuller slow ball maybe it, it it will dip or maybe go to a short cover so that was the plan and it worked um you might have asked this question earlier i'm not sure but uh, it, it looked like you were intent on pitching the ball up and despite the fact that the wicket had variable bounce what was your thinking yeah because uh, the ball had started reversing so when we played uh, in similar wickets back home when the ball reverses so you try to make the most of it so yeah we were trying to use our experience in first class cricket where we bowled with reverse swing balls so that that was the plan behind it known for your yorkers and across all formats but like there's always this talk like about why fast bowlers don't bowl enough yorkers in test cricket uh, considering you're a great exponent of that is there any logic to it or? no but it's a little different in test cricket in white ball cricket there's only 10 overs sometimes yorker takes a lot out of your body after bowling 25 overs it's difficult sometime to execute the yorkers so yeah it is an underrated delivery in test cricket but i believe you have to you can't overdo it because then it's easier for the batsman if you get it wrong it's easier to score as well but yeah you ha- you can use it in patches and the when the ball is reversing it's even more effective this bit uh, you know this has been tra- turning out to be a dream year you made your debut in south africa and now five wickets here i mean how do you sum up the whole thing about becoming a test cricketer and then the sudden 
you know certain success that you have gained in this particular format no i i always wanted to play test cricket people have only seen me in white ball cricket but i played a lot of first class cricket earlier so i was always confident that whenever i get a chance i would be able to do well and when i got the opportunity in south africa i was really happy the start has been good hopefully you keep on learning and keep getting better and have you been adding new new balls from your what about the experiences of the white ball cricket have you have you been working on new there there's, there's no uh, there's no any new delivery that i have uh, been brought into my armory but yeah working on consistency has always been my main goal last week like aside from taking control of the match how pleasing has this game been in terms of workload in so much as australia are bowling four days in a row whereas you guys have knock them over in 60 odd overs no but we have done that earlier as well we've bowled a lot of overs as well so we are not focusing on that we are just focusing on our plans right now what what we have to do tomorrow morning whenever we start to bowl how how the wicket is behaving what purchases we are getting out of that so we are focusing on that right now uh, um, you the boo test calendar year you're only 5 wickets off 50 which is a rare achievement how how Are you surprised by that? How pleasing is that? The the return you've got in only nine test matches. Yeah, no, I'm not surprised if I say if I don't believe in myself, who else yeah. will? So I always try to back myself in any any situation that I go. Yes, the start has been good. Uh, I played in England, South Africa here, all three different kind of conditions. Yeah. Yes, I've not yet played a test match in India, but yeah. Whenever you go to different countries, it's a different experience. New learnings you take away from every country. So yeah, really happy with the start. Let's see how it goes further. Final one. Uh, Jasprit, uh, uh, near bowling coach Bharat Sharma has been there with you from your under 19 days. You kind of grown with him. Can you tell us about your relationship with him and his influence on your bowling? Yeah, when first time when I went to the NCA, he was there. He saw my action. So I've been lucky in that he saw my action. He didn't want to change it. He always believed that with this action, yes, you have to become stronger so that uh, we'll not try to change your action. we'll work on the consistency and everything else it follows so i've been lucky enough to work with such coaches who always didn't try to uh, change me but always told me to back myself hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on extra time